Good morning, YouTube. Wow, my hair's wacky this morning. First thing on today's agenda, we have to go drop off Bobby's car, the Genesis that she owns, in storage. Just have this thing stored away for winter, as you guys know. She picked up the legacy, so I will see you guys there. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Oh my gosh. About to. Okay, let's lock her up. Oh. Genesis is all tucked away for the winter. I'm not back home and I completely forgot that the tire shop had my, my winter wheels, the Evo wheels. So I'm gonna run there right now, grab those things. Kinda need those for the Forester. Let's go. I'm back home now, got the wheels, the tires all mounted up, everything's good to go there. Just waiting on adapters and some lowering springs so I can get this Forester looking good for the winter. Next thing on the agenda, I gotta swap out these headlight bulbs. The passenger side is burnt out, so I picked up a set of LED bulbs for the headlights. Now, I've never ran LEDs and headlights before. I've ran them in fog lights and other things like that but I've never actually ran them in headlights as a low beam. So I'm really curious to see how these things look at nighttime, if they're gonna be bright, like way too bright, like HIDs in reflectors to where they're just blinding everybody or if they're gonna be a decent bulb. So as soon as I get these things in, get them tested out, I'll let you guys know what I think of them. I'll have a link down below, of course, of where I bought these bulbs, if you guys want to go purchase a set for yourself. Now, let's get these things swapped out. On the passenger side, I'd recommend removing this little intake duct right here. So just pull out this 10 millimeter bolt and that thing will pop right off. Now to get this wiring connector off the bulb, there's two tabs on each side under the rubber, under the rubber grommet, you're gonna just push together. That'd be kind of tight. Push those tabs together and that'll pop off. Now we're gonna remove that rubber grommet, like that. And there's like a little spring wire holding the bulb in. So compress that spring the bulb out. Now we're gonna have to modify this rubber grommet to fit around this part right here of the bulb. Just, we could probably put the bulb in without the rubber grommet, but we don't want it to leak. We don't want our headlight to fill up with condensation. So this fits perfectly right, right inside here. It's that, perf that part perfectly. So we're gonna just cut this, trim this a little bit and it will slide right over that and be a nice tight fit. I'm actually just gonna be using this whole saw because I want it nice and round. So I'm just gonna cut out that little piece. I guess I'll just cut it off with scissors. So I'm folding the boot out like that. Perfection. Now it's time to put, put the bolt back in the car. Now you guys see this plug in right here? That's just gonna plug right into where the old headlight bolt plugged in at. So it just clips in like that. Just gonna hang out with the headlight a little bit, but it's not a big deal. Everything's tight, boots on. We should be done, let's see if it works. Works amazing. That is the old stock one, obviously. That is the LED one. You can, as you can tell, it's much brighter. I'm super curious to see how these compare to HIDs, guys. So if you want me to make a video comparing LED bulbs versus HID bulbs, let me know in the comment section below, and I will bust that out for you guys. I have a bunch of of HID products here, so let me know, because I'll do it for you. Now we just have to swap out the driver's side. I don't think we need to remove anything on this side. It should be fine, might, might might have to pull off the battery, but I don't think so, I think there's enough space there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that swapped out. Got the driver's side swapped out, and guys, what I really, really love about these LEDs compared to the HIDs, 
there's no super big ballast yet to figure out where to mount. So that is super, super nice. A very simple and clean and it's very easy to install as you guys just saw. But now my lenses are kind of dirty. They're a little hazy looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff those out. I already made a video regarding how to clean headlight lenses. So I'll throw that up in the corner. What corner is it? I think it'd be that corner. So make sure you guys go check that out if you wanna know how to buff out your headlight lenses to make them look brand new again. The headlights are all polished up. They look freaking amazing. Super glad I did that. I've been needing to do it for a while. Next thing, I'm gonna disable the daytime running lights. I'm gonna make a completely separate video for that. So if you guys wanna see that, I'll have a link up there when it is live. It should be live either today or not today, tomorrow or the next day. So keep an eye out for that. I am done working on the Fozzy for the day. As you can see, I'm now my baby and my Evo. I gotta get this thing all cleaned up for winter, guys. It's gonna be sitting all winter. I don't want it all dirty, disgusting, nasty interior. So I'm gonna go bring it down to the shop, give her a nice wash, detail, vacuum the inside, wipe it all down. And I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna buy a carport like I had the STI in. Uh, was that last winter? I think it was last winter, but the carport got crushed by the snow. And I don't, I'm kind of reluctant to buy another one. So we'll see what happens. Thankfully, I didn't have the STI in there though. If I have a picture, guys, I'm gonna throw it on the screen right now, but that would have been, that would have been a bad situation. So let's go get this thing cleaned up. bros the exterior is pretty much all done it's all clean good to go i might do a buff on it and a, a buff and wax before i put it away for the winter but i'm running out of time so i cannot get to the interior today so i will see you guys tomorrow morning bright and early when we come out here to clean the inside what's up guys back in the shop now the next day and i gotta get this interior cleaned out it is disgusting i don't even know why i let this car get that dirty the heck some poop on my wing <laughs> so I'm gonna start with vacuuming it I'm just gonna vacuum the whole thing the front back obviously in the trunk get all that clean eventually I need to pull these seats out and just clean everything like go through like a deep deep clean like we just did on Bobby's legacy that'd be nice to do on the Evo as soon as that is done I'm gonna clean all the dash and all that with some Windex or some sort of glass cleaner and a rag just get all the dust off of there and she'll be pretty much ready to store for the winter. So let's get started.
Okay guys, the car is all clean. I'm very, very happy with how it's looking right now. It's super, super clean. I don't know if it's ever been clean in its whole life. Probably what it is new, but I'm gonna do a little walk around and show you guys everything on the car. Let's go. Summer days burn me out, love just brings me down. Cold inside like when she leaves, I slowly leave the ground. Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance. Love me like you used to, so we can learn again. The skin is getting brown, baby Drink your night away, maybe We will not regret it, you will not regret it, me Laying down under the sun Burning love cause we are young No one tells us what's done wrong Cause it's just me and you One last thing I need to do before I put the car away for the winter Get that LED Bluetooth controller for the demonized having the headlights Swapped out with the new Morimoto. It's an, called the XBT, I believe, Bluetooth controller. It's supposed to be a lot better. That's why they sent it to me. So let's go ahead and get that swapped out. I believe all these plugins should be the same. I just have to figure out where to mount it. I think I'm just gonna mount it right where that one is. It's got holes so you can screw it on, but I think I'm just gonna double side tape it on because I don't really feel like drilling holes in that. So I'm having a slight problem here, guys. The new wiring connectors on the new controller are not the same as let me show you guys they're not the same as the old wiring connectors so let me zoom out oh man it's kind of hard by myself so the old ones they would just kind of sit together right and snap in these ones look how loose it is like a super loose fitting focus so clearly that's not going to work. I don't know what they expect you to do here, but it's kind of ridiculous. So I guess I will have to contact them. Unless any one of you guys knows what to do, I don't really know. I'm going to have to shoot them an email. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button down below. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It's going to be some good stuff. So if you want to keep an eye out for that, hit the subscribe button up in that corner and that little bell, the little ding for notifications. Make sure you hit that. Because the subscribe thing's kind of weird these days. It does not even notify you if I uploaded unless you have the notification bell turned on. So make sure you hit that bell. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.